vascular cambium what is vascular cambium vascular cambium is a lateral meristem that produces vascular tissues vascular cambium is a single layer cylinder of astigmatic cells in certain plants including monopores all the cells of the procambium undergo differentiation in primary vascular tissue in all dicots and the gymnosperms a portion of procambium remains meristematic even after the completion of primary growth and develop into cambium from which secondary body is formed it is located in between xylem and phloem in stems and roots in dicot plants cambium is usually present in the form of the cylinder in herbaceous stems cambium is present in the discrete units not a complete cylinder the slide shows the photographs of the presence or the position of the vascular cambium between the sapwood as well as the bar in the dicot woody stem this uh, photograph also shows the presence of the vascular cambium between the vascular bundle between the xylem and the phloem in this photo uh, the xylem and phloem produces the a cylinder of the cambium however there are some other types of the plants may also the position of the vascular cambium is also present in the leaves and the petioles uh, that shows the secondary growth cambium is present in the form of the strips strips means these are the small patches not a complete cylinder has been produced uh, in the leaves and the petioles in lower vascular plants and the herbaceous angiosperms vascular cambium is absent or vestigial or sometime the vascular cambium were present however uh, or they are completely absent origin of the cambium first of all we must understand uh, which of the tissues that produce the cambial uh, vascular cambium for the cambial activity primary vascular tissue is built up by maturing the procambium strands to form the xylem and the phloem however the procambium is the initial tissue or the initial cells that are precursors of the vascular cambiums plants which secondary growth is absent all cells of the procambium strands mature and develop into the vascular tissue in plants where secondary growth later on a part of procambium remains meristematic and gives rise to the vascular cambium it is generally know now accepted that the procambium and cambium are two stages of the same cambium however the first stage is the procambium the second stage is the cambium for cambium zone during growing period cambial initials and with their immediate derivatives form the cambial zone the cells on either side of this zone widen gradually until they acquire the shape and feature of mature phloem and the xylem elements needles of the conifers or needle leaves of the conifers cambium is unidirectional and produces only the phloem but do not produce the xylem tissues the photograph shows the development of the primary as well as the secondary Uh, plant body of the dicot stem as you, you know that the uh, primary plant body consisted of the vascular bundles that are present at the periphery of the stem the vascular bundles each vascular bundle consisted of the xylem towards the inside whereas the phloem towards the outside between the two tissues the procambial initial cells are produced at the early stages However, with the passage of time, when further the uh, plant growth occurred in the stems or the roots of the dicots, the vascular, uh, the procambium further extends uh, between the vascular bundles in the form of the intervascular cambium. However, it forms a complete cylinder, including the vascular bundles. Our further maturity of the vascular cambium it produces the complete cylinder of the vascular bundle, uh, vascular cambium 
between the xylem and the phloem. This photograph shows the uh, divisional activity of the vascular cambium. There are two types of the divisions, the periclinal division and the anticlinal division. The periclinal divisions in the cambial cells is carried out uh, in the form of the horizontal section. In, uh, in case of the anticlinal division, the vertical division occurred in this form. The, this division is occurred in this form in the cell, whereas in the perigonal division, this division occurred in this direction. How do you can see uh, over here, this cell showing the periclinal division and this cell showing the anticlinal division. However, the periclinal as well as the anticlinal divisions both forms the vascular bundles. In this way, the uh, number of the cells increased with the increasing of the number of cells of the vascular cambium, the girth as well as length of the dicot stem also increases. This is another photograph showing the uh, vascular cambial initials that produces the xylem derivatives towards the inside of the stem and the phloem derivatives toward outside of the stem. However, this photograph also shows the position of the cambium present over here. It produces the xylem tissues toward the inside of the stem, whereas the phloem tissues towards the outside of the stem. The phloem has layer one, two, three, similarly, xylem layer one, two, and three. In this form, the girth of the uh, stem increases. Fascicular and interfascicular cambium. Uh, this uh, fascicular cambium uh, is produced within the vascular bundles, whereas the interfascicular cambium is produced between the vascular bundles. As you know that the vascular uh, bundle uh, present in the form of a discrete manner in the uh, dicots at the periphery of the stem. The, uh, each vascular bundle consisted of the xylem and the phloem. However, when the vascular cambium at early stages as well as the mature stages has the uh, presence between both type of the tissues, this is the uh, procambium that is present between the both type of the tissues, xylem and phloem. However, when its extension occurred um, uh, by both type of the vascular bundles, or the procambium, it extends between two tissues from the interfascular cambium. The interfascular cambium, initially known as the interfascular parenchyma, then is further matured to produce the interfascular cambium showing in the red cells, whereas the red uh, blue cells, the red cells between the xylem and the phloem uh, form the fascicular cambium. You must understand that the fascicular or interfascicular cambia, the fascicular cambia is present within the single vas vascular tissue. However, the interfascicular present between two vascular bundles in the dicots. There are two types of the vascular cambia. Uh, two types of the cells are present in the vascular cambium, the fusiform initials as well as the ray initials. The fusiform initials uh, these are the long elongated cells with tapering ends. These are the long cells from the fibers, xylem, and the sieve elements when it further divides into other side of the tissues. In this photograph, uh, photograph shows the fusiform initials that are present uh, in this manner, also present in this manner. The ray initials, these are small cells. These are the small cells, isodiametric, oriented horizontally, in organs develop from the ray initials. Cambial cells are vacuolated. Uh, uh, walls possess primary pit fields with the plasmodism as well. The radial walls are thicker than the tangential uh, ones. Types of the cambium on the basis of the arrangement of the fusiform initials. Uh, there are two types of the cambia. Uh, are present on the basis of their positions or the arrangement. The storied are stratified, the non-storied are non-stratified. The storied type of the cambia, the fusiform initials are arranged in horizontal rows. Their ends are approximately at the same level. 
The length of these initials ranged from the 140 to 520 micrometer, for example, in Robinia and Tamarack stems. In case of the non-storied or non-stratified candida, fusiform initials partially overlie one another. The length of these type of the arrangement uh, varies from 320 to 2300 micrometer in many dicots. However, in gymnospore, the length of these varies from 127,000 micrometer long. Non-storied fusiform initials are longer than the storied cambia, which is more common in the plants. This is the example of the storied and non-storied uh, type of the cambial initials or cambial tissues. This is horizontal rows of the uh, fusiform initials. This is a one row, this is the other row. This is a specific arrangement of the fusiform initial. However, uh, this photograph shows the overlap of fusiform initials that are not specific in uh, arrangement. However, this arrangement generally present in the plants, most of the plants. Cell division activity in the cambial initials. Multiplicative cell division as additive cell division. In case of the multiplicative cell division or the anticlinal cell division, uh, the producers the more initial cells and result in the increased circumference of the vascular cambia. Uh, this photograph shows the both type of the cell division activity. The red line between, uh, between these two cells shows the multiplicative or the anticlinal divisions. The anticlin case of the anticlinal division, the cell uh, cambial cell divides uh, vertically and produces the daughter cells, daughter cells uh, right and left side. However, in case of the additive cell division or the periclinal cell division, so the two cells produced from an additive cell division is retained for an initial cell that will pro uh, divide again and the other will produce, will become a flowing mother cell and a xylem mother cell. This mother cells will differentiate into their respective cell types. In this case, the additive division or the periclinal division, the single cell uh, divide in this direction or horizontally. It uh, produces uh, the cells uh, on its upper side and the lower side. The lower side produce cells for the xylem, whereas the upper side produced, uh, produce the cell types of the phloem cells. As a result of periclinal divisions, more numerous cells are added to the secondary xylem and secondary phloem. The derivatives of each initial form the radial rows. In conifers, the cambial cells divide once every four to six days, while the apical meristematic divide every eight, 18 hours. It means that the cell division activity of the apical meristem is fast as compared to the cell division activity of the cambial zone. The rate of the cell division activity and the cambium of the phloem is lower than the xylem cambial mother cells. That's why the xylem tissue is more as compared to the phloem. Phloem uh, present in the form of the small layer of a uh, small layer outside of the uh, wood. However, the wood is larger as compared to the phloem. That's why the cambial activity. Uh, uh, in the xylem, cambial mother cells is uh, higher as compared to the cambial mother cell of the phloem. The relative rate of the xylem and phloem formation have been found to change during the growing season in some plants. The cytoplasmic characteristics of the cambial cells in active stage as well as the in dormant stage is different. In active stage, both fusiform marine initial cells have the basic organelles and the member a membrane like pernicoma cells are the present. The active growing cambial cells have one or two large vacuoles, and the rough endoplasmic reticulum is visible. The plasmo, plasma lemma is smooth. The food storing bodies are not present in the cytoplasmic vacuoles. In dormant stage, plasma lemma changed to folded form. The mitochondria are in the form of the chain, vacuoles divided into many small vacuoles. The uh, resting cambial cells contain the droplets of lipids and the protein bodies are also formed. 
there is seasonal activity of the cambial cells are also heard the diameter and the number of the cells in the cambial zone varies with the season in the beginning of the cambial activity cell division cell division of the cambial exceeds than the cell differentiation the number of cells will will be more number of the cells will, will be more in in case of the cambial uh, cell division of the cambium uh, at the end of the cambial activity the cell differentiation exceeds the cell division by cambium so number of the cells in decrease and cambial uh, division become narrow the tropical regions uh, plants show 75% continuous country growth due to continuous activity of the cambium so the number of the cells and the diameter of the cambial zone remains same in temperate and the subtropical regions these regions are two regions having the high temperature uh, or the deciduous conditions of the plants they are distinct season of the year for example the spring month, summer autumn and the winter season the activity of the cambium varies according to the season cambium is more active in the spring whereas is uh, uh, the cambium zone is widest in the summer however the activity of the cambium is higher uh, in the spring season whereas the cambial zone is produced the higher in the summer season due to the high activity of the cambial uh, cells in the spring at the end of the summer cambium activity become decreased and almost stop in the autumn in the winter cambium definitely stop its activity and uh, uh, at the later stages of this activity the size of the cell become narrow uh, this is a reference Do you have any question? Then let me know.